Hello everybody, my name is Ben Bolin and today we are going to talk about this little guy which most of you will recognize. Th is this too small? Okay. This guy, which is a United States penny worth exactly one cent since 1787 when we first started making these guys. Now, can I get rid of this? Okay. So, when we first began making pennies, we made them out of pure copper and this was a pretty good move. We kept that composition for a while. However, in this modern age, more and more people, not just politicians, but also taxpayers, are asking whether we should keep the penny or whether we should abolish it entirely. So let's look at the facts first. As of 2012, it cost about 2.4 cents to make each penny. This trend seems set to continue, so if we continue using the present composition of the penny, which is mostly zinc today, then we could see the price and cost of making a penny fluctuate. There are two sides to this argument, and it's a surprisingly spirited debate, I guess is the nicest way to say it. Let's start with the people who want to kill the penny. All right, so if you want to kill the penny, here's what you're thinking. You're thinking, A, the penny is pretty much worthless. When's the last time I bought something for a penny? B, it's sort of a waste of time. How often do I have to scrounge for pennies in my pockets, wait in line behind some joker searching for exact change? And uh, how much is it going to cost the taxpayer to make these pennies? especially if the price of the composition materials goes up. Now, of course, that's not the end of the story. I know it sounds horrible right now, but let's consider the other side, the people who want to save the penny. There are some compelling arguments there, too. One argument is that if we take out the penny, we're going to have to round prices up or down, but let's be honest, up, to the nickel, the nearest nickel value. That means if you're a small business owner and you're selling something for $1.68 or $1.69, you're going to have to round it up to $1.70 or down to $1.65. This means, according to people who want to save the penny, that we will end up paying more for things in the penny's absence. They also say that replacing the nickel in the uh, Penny's position as the lowest member of our coinage totem pole uh, means that we'll be spending even more taxpayer money because we'll have to spend 11.7 cents uh, as of 2012 to make each nickel. And if we have to make more nickels to replace pennies, we'll just be digging ourselves further in the hole. There's a third argument uh, about saving the penny, and this one for some people has profound significance. That is the argument of historical precedent, the traditions, the, the very American place of the penny. We have one of our most influential presidents on the face of the penny. We have centuries of knowledge about this thing. It's, it's, it's almost uh, an iconic American symbol, but is that enough to save it in the future? I know it sounds a little bit crazy for some people to think, well, you can't just get rid of money. Who are we? Who are we to just get rid of this whole thing? But it's happened before. It's not without historical precedent. Other countries have often cut out pieces of their uh, currency system. The Philippines have taken out coins. Uh, so has Sweden. Australia has cut out the one and two cent pieces from their dollar. Great Britain has done the same and, wait for it, until 1857 the United States had another coin called the half cent piece and we don't have it anymore. It's a little bit of a leap to say that the same Congress that cut out the half cent piece would cut out the penny if they were here today, but it's not as far of a leap as you might think because again, it does cost more to create these coins than it, these coins are actually worth in the end. So if we look at the future of the penny, we can see some pretty interesting developments. As of February 2012, the Obama administration has made moves to change the composition of a penny. Right now, it's more than 90% zinc, and there's the idea here that if we can move it to a different material, it will cost less to produce it, hopefully less than, you know, a penny. 
This move is being met with a different spirited debate on either side here, but it's not the first legislative move to abolish the penny. Um, in 2008, there have been bills passed in the House, uh, but then that died in committee to get rid of the penny. There have also been uh, frequent statements by nonprofits or uh, advocacy organizations on either side uh, about the penny's fate. We'll, we'll most likely see the uh, penny continue with a different material composition, one that is cheaper to produce. However, as, the, as we go toward the future, we may actually see the rise of virtual or digital money uh, render physical currency increasingly irrelevant. Not just pennies, but nickels and dimes and dollars. And then there's the kind of scary idea that inflation could continue to a point where pennies are still produced, but people just don't use them. So for now, it seems like the penny is set to stick around despite some of its critics. But in the coming decades, it's anybody's guess. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.